How are you doing today? I'm good. Is this a solicitation call? No. I'm calling to let you know that life insurance policy rates have come down up to 50%. I just need to ask you one quick question. How old are you? Do you know what the word solicitation means? No problem. I will put you on our do not call list and make sure that you don't get a call from us. Thank Have you. A good day. That was an artificial intelligence, I think. We, as a society, are so screwed if we start letting computers solicit us so that now there isn't even a human on the other end of the phone annoying us. We're going to actually have machines that sound like humans programmed to annoy us. We need to make a law about that. Unbillable. <laughs> All right, we're here at a client's property. We're going to try something new today on Billable. Rather than talk about the existing laws and the application of those laws in kind of today's world, I want to talk about a, a change that we need. It's time for us to change the relationship between real estate agents and the principal, real estate agents and their buyers and sellers. Right now, it's just a agent and principal relationship. It's time to make that relationship fiduciary. It's time for your real estate agent to have a fiduciary duty to you. So if we're going to make the real estate relationship between a realtor and the home buyer or home seller a fiduciary relationship, we need to first start talking about what a fiduciary relationship is. A fiduciary relationship is a special relationship of trust where one party holds the assets or takes care of the assets of another. But what makes it fiduciary is you have an actual responsibility to do what's best and do what's right with that financial asset. So like as an attorney, I have a fiduciary relationship with my clients. I have to always put their financial interests first. In other words, I'm not allowed to represent them in a dispute and the other side. If you're a real estate agent or maybe recently sold your house, you you know what I'm getting at. Real estate agents are allowed to do both ends of a deal, represent a buyer and seller in the same transaction. I'd like to put an end to that. All right, so I'm not just some jerk attorney trying to end real estate agents' ability to double end deals. What I'm talking about is how the heck can that be something that we accept? If you are selling your house or if you're buying your house, your real estate agent wants you to be able to openly and honestly explain to them what you're willing to pay or what you're willing to accept as a purchase price. If all of a sudden you are able to represent both ends of a deal, how can you put both the buyer and the seller's interests first? See, I don't think you can. And I sue real estate agents all the time. I mean, I don't take pride in saying it. It's just the reality of what I do for a living. And oftentimes what I see is these real estate agents, they get fixated on closings. Real estate agents don't get paid unless they close transactions and their commissions come directly from the value of the real estate transaction closed. When you allow a real estate agent to play both ends of a deal, their focus becomes directly on getting the transaction to close. Not all the time, most of the time. And that's the situation where you get yourself in trouble. What I'd like to see is just remove that ability. Take away a real estate agent's ability to represent both sides and put them into a fiduciary relationship. Again, the reason I say a fiduciary relationship is so that they stop putting their own interests, their own desires for commissions and closings first and instead put the goal of the client, a seller, obtaining as much money as possible, maybe selling it quickly, whatever the goals of the client are first. If you're a buyer, acquiring the property for the lowest possible price. See, an agent can't put both of those interests at the forefront when they're representing both sides. How can they be trying to get the most money possible for a seller while trying to get the least money possible for a buyer when they're on both sides of the transaction? They can't. Real estate agents should not be allowed to be on both ends of the transaction. We need to change this rule. So all we have to do is eliminate the realtor's ability to represent the buyer and the seller in the transaction, and that would put the realtor's focus back on the buyer or the seller, back on their client. Again, it would eliminate their desire to take both ends and force the transaction to close. You know, I started thinking about this in the, in the break between the last shot and this shot. I don't wanna do this anymore. I don't wanna talk about this anymore. If realtors stop double-ending deals, I'll probably lose business, so never mind. Maybe you guys should just keep double-ending deals. I'll be the fiduciary. You guys just keep getting yourselves in trouble. The sprinklers just came on. We gotta wrap this up. If you like this episode of Unbillable, you know what to do. Hit the like button. If you have an opinion on whether realtors should be fiduciaries about any of the things we said today, be sure to put it in the comments below. We'd love to have your feedback. And of course, subscribe. You gotta subscribe. And with that, we'll see you and you'll see us on the next episode of Unbillable.
when you own your own business, one of the only constants you have is change. Today we have a big change in that we're losing our receptionist, Sierra. And although, you know, not necessarily the biggest role in our office, Sierra's played a major role in uh, my personal happiness and my ability to continue to kick ass for clients. So um, I know she uh, keeps up on my Snapchat. So I want to take a moment and just say that I will miss you, Sierra. You've been an outstanding employee and whoever gets you in San Diego is not worthy of you because I'm barely worthy of you and I'm fucking amazing. So with that, thank you for everything, all your hard work and uh, just, you know, being you every single day. We wouldn't be the same and we won't be the same without you. This was by far one of my favorite jobs that I've ever had. Thank you for not only being a boss, but being like a mentor and teaching me the ways of life with guys, with people, with females, um, the wise ways of getting older, and not just legal advice, but actual real life advice, which I you would do every single day and I will take with me for the rest of my life.